Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and it's that time of year again for the Paleo Rewind from the Expeditioners Discovery Guild. And this year we have a very, very special Paleo Rewind. This year Edge is featuring me as well as a bunch of other Dino Tubers. We have some familiar faces that you've seen around the channel like KikiZilla101, Dino Man, Bionicle Saurus, and we even managed to get Trey the Explainer to do a segment, which is just really awesome. So I want to send a big thank you to Destin from the Expeditioners Discovery Guild for asking me to be a part of this. Basically, each Dino Tuber took a different month and then covered um, the discoveries and new paleo related news that happened in the months of 2018. So I took February being my birth month and there's some really interesting stuff so you can check out my segment here on my channel but I do recommend checking out the entire Paleo Rewind. I believe it's in two parts and it's up right now. I will link it in the description. So if you want to see the entire thing and you want to hear what Bionicle Saurus, Kikizilla, Dino Man, Trey the Explainer and much more have to offer then do check it out. Link is down below in the description. But anyway, that's all for me right now, guys, and I hope you enjoy the Paleo Rewind for February of 2018. February. Amber Be Thy Name. Amber is one of the most interesting substances. Hardened tree resin executed from the plant when it is injured becomes fossilized and turns into a gemstone that has been admired and used as jewelry by humans for tens of thousands of years. It also happens to be one of the best substances for preserving the remains of prehistoric animals. Animals trapped in amber as they die are preserved just as they were when they entered the orange deluge. This lets us see exactly how the outside of the animal appeared millions of years after they went extinct. A piece of dinosaur tail had been discovered last year, but it has been topped by the brand new discovery of an entire bird encased in the honey-like amber. The new amber find is of an enantiornithine bird of sparrow size which has decayed to some degree before it was completely mummified by the amber. But even then, it preserves much of the plumage, beak, and other soft parts you just don't get to see in your average stony fossil. Chimera Rachni Yingai On the subject of amber, yet another prehistoric fossil mummy was discovered and described. This time, instead of a bird, an ancient spider representing a long-dead lineage was found. Chimera rachni lingi represents a new group of spiders with male pedipalps and well-developed spinnerets, like modern spiders but with a whip-like tail sticking out of its rear. Chimera rachni belongs to the Arani, which is the older that includes all modern spiders but represents an earlier divergence on the family tree. This means that during the mid-Cretaceous period, there were a lineage of whip spiders that would likely have had a history all the way back to the Paleozoic era. Wallisaurus reappears. Wallisaurus massare is a species of ichthyosaur discovered by paleontologist Dean Lamox of the University of Manchester in 2016 after it had been uncovered in 1996. This year, a new specimen of the ichthyosaur was described off of a bone donated to the university from a private collection of fossil collector Simon Carpenter. Dean Lamox was able to find something new just lying around the collections of a museum, which seems to be the best and easiest way to do so these days. You should follow Lamox on Twitter though, he's real cool. Candelorhynchus Padelier a new species of Cretaceous fish has been described from Colombia. Though the fish is unique in being the only one of its family known from both Colombia and South America, the story of how the find was made is where the magic happened. A young boy was touring the monastery of La Candelaria when he spotted what appeared to be a fish fossil in one of the stones used on one of the paths in the building. He took a photo of the fossil and sent it to a local museum. That museum sent the image to the University of Alberta and they recognized the fossil as something new. 
they retraced the boy's steps and found the fossil resulting in the description of a new species of fish as yet unknown from this region, a region not so great at preserving fossil material due to heavy jungle influence.